Okay, everybody, so I promised no more aero videos, but I gotta do this one final aero video. So this one here is a lot about SolidWorks and what we did. So we did a crude model of the front of the car. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Take everything I'm saying here with a grain of salt. Um, but we demodeled the front of the car and the biggest issue with the car is air coming in here, hitting the radiator and being driven under the car. Uh, it showed it to be very bad. Now that thing that I put on, I'm gonna climb up underneath here. So if you can see, I had that, that scoop thing come off into here. You know, I used the conveyor belt material you can see here and it went down, oh yeah, now you're seeing this panel. So this is what I'm trying to talk about here. So that, that uh, first, first video when I put the uh, conveyor belt material angled forward, that did excellent for downforce. It actually helped the downforce a lot, but at the expense of huge drag penalty and a lot of turbulence off the sides of that thing. So what we've decided to do on the, the, the uh, SolidWorks model showed that by closing off this, so when the air comes into here, instead of getting hitting the radiator and getting driven down, now there's a panel there. And I'll pull that panel off so you can see how I made this thing. Uh, but that panel alone keeps the air going in here. And then if you can see over here, let me get a flashlight. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so you can see, now you can see back over into here where my finger's pointing, I made these side panels. They just barely clear the hood. I can't close the rest of this in or all of this in because the hood still got a swing. And that's where having the swinging hood, you really lose a lot of arrow. But instead of the air coming in and being driven under the car, now it's building high pressure up in front and be driven over to the sides or around the top or the bottom, okay? So this looks like the cleanest way to make the front of this, this coupe somewhat arrow. Um, this showed from the SolidWorks way better than nothing, whereas nothing, it comes in, gets driven down, and then goes right underneath the car and blends. So you can see my panel here. So I'm gonna pull this panel off real quick, and I'll show everybody what I've done to make this. And you can see it fits really tight up into here. Um, yeah, I could get some wear on the paint, but so far I'm getting nothing, not even a little mark. So, uh, and then the hood still pivots up because it's underneath it, so when the hood pivots forward, no big deal. It just uh, pivots away from that and then comes back down and just sits kind of nice and flush. Um, and then the air, so it's got a few little degree angle. They'll be driven underneath. And then you can also see I flat bottomed the car all the way back to the oil pan. So I don't know, four feet, five feet. I'm not even sure. But you can see that um, flat panel it. And then we've got this conveyor belt material. It's about an inch and a half deep. It was about three inches deep, but it was rubbing all over the place when I was driving it. It drove me nuts. That keeps the high pressure and the low pressure separated to some extent. So in the end, this is about the best you can do according to our SolidWorks model. Let me pull this panel off here and we'll show you what I've got and uh, show you how I did it. Okay, so I've got the bracket off. Hopefully you guys can see what I've done here. Um, so you can see I built this frame. It's tied onto my radiator protection. And then I welded on these outriggers here that come forward. Uh, and then boxed it all in as you can see all the way over to here And then I just tapped these for those 1032 screws and the plate here, which you can see right here Just bolts up another thing benefit to this it totally protects the radiator from underneath uh, There's no way you're getting past this that aluminum on there unless you hit something that's gonna be ugly anyhow um, Yeah, so this is pretty straightforward As I said, I don't know if anybody's ever done this, but you can see the paint here just got a little bit of you know mark from the aluminum and that's about it um, then you can see my some of my damage from the off-track excursion as well but so I think this and from what our SolidWorks model shows it is definitely the best way to go and you can look down inside and see the bracket so you can see how I filled it all in so I think I'm pull this headlight off so as I said, the R nose, when we did put the R nose with the SolidWorks um, flow data, and that is by far and away the best way, if you want these cars to really have some good aero, um, put, the, put the R nose on and never look back. As I said, I'm trying not to change the look of the car. People are asking me about the rear. Well, that's where I'm not gonna touch it. Um, I think the air back into here as I've done the, the yarn test, I think a video three or four, very attached. Here, it's gonna go crazy. You're gonna get a high pressure zone here, driving the rear down, which that's the point of this. But I think if you're really looking for pure, you know, slippery shapes, this thing's gotta go. 
Um, but I'm not gonna test that. I have no desire to pull that thing off. So I'm just trying to do the best with what I can do and not affect the shape of the car. So as I said, and what I've done is about the best. So if anyone else is looking to make pure aero out of these cars, go for it. Um, and the one thing I have noticed, my oil temps have climbed a little bit, which is actually good because they were always running 30 degrees too low. Now they're up where they should be. Um, and I'm, so I'm just guessing there's a lot less airflow in the front of that engine compartment. Uh, which so far doesn't seem to affect anything. I thought about trying to flat bottom underneath the exhaust, but I don't want to cut off air in there. I think that's too much uh, heat and it needs to escape from underneath and also out the side vents here. Uh, as you can see, the car is all jacked up. I'm going through and getting it ready for the Silver State Classic, which I'll be running in about six weeks. Uh, so I'm changing all the fluids. Oil hasn't been changed in a year. I got 3,200 miles on it since the last oil change. I'm actually gonna send this off to Blackstone. Uh, so I got some oil here, we'll test that out. So I think that's about it. So I'll throw this video up. As I said, I'm done with the arrow. Got any questions, shoot them at me, but uh, I think I've done all I can do. So uh, I'm not gonna do anything else, I'm not changing the body. So this car will look, you know, kind of factory original, but have some of that stuff underneath. So I'll throw that back pan back underneath, which really helps. The, this solid works really showed that a huge improvement by keeping that air from driving underneath the car. So kept it very laminar. So thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe and uh, we'll keep it coming at you. Thanks.